Ay, ay. Hey you guys, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually going to do a swimsuit try on haul, alright? So I was, you know, cleaning out my closet at home and I realized that I actually do have a good amount of bathing suits. So I want to show you guys how they look on me, how they look on my body, how I feel about them, and you know, just some tips for you when you're deciding on buying a bathing suit, okay? So the first few bathing suits I'm going to show you are actually from Torrid. Now two of them are one pieces and one of them is a two piece, what I like to call fat kinis, okay? So let's get into it. Alright, so the first bathing suit is a one piece and it is from Torrid. I got it in a size 4 and this is actually the very first bathing suit I ever bought when I was comfortable with my body, you know, at least comfortable enough to wear a bathing suit and not wear a big t-shirt over or anything like that. So there is minimal padding and of course there is mesh all the way through because it is a bathing suit. And it's a one piece and you have to tie it and adjust it at the back, okay? But yeah, it's really cute and it still fits me and I just love it so much, so yeah. Torrid actually has the best bathing suits for my body, I would say, and that's where pretty much majority of my bathing suits are from. And then I have this other bathing suit that my aunt actually bought for me because we were going on a family cruise. And this bathing suit is a one piece as well and it's blue and white and it just has stripes everywhere but this bathing suit has a lot of padding so if you're somebody that doesn't have big boobs then this bathing suit is not going to be good for you because there is a lot of padding in it and it actually has underwire as well so it's basically a built-in bra and then the only adjustments are on the side just like you would adjust your bra just up and down and that's about it but this bathing suit Oh, this bathing suit was bought in a size 5 because it was kind of like spur of the moment last minute. I just needed an extra bathing suit because we are going on a 7 day cruise and going to Mexico and all types of stuff. So I didn't want to only have one bathing suit. But it's really cute and it fits pretty well. It's comfy. It is a little bit big but that's okay. And it's not too big to the point where when you're in the water or in the ocean or anything like that, that it's like falling off you. So you guys, this next part is my very first fat key that I ever got, okay? So let me start off with the top. The top is black and white and it's striped. It's so cute. There's not that much padding in it, so anybody is, you can be fine in these, um, this top. What size is the top though? I got this top in a size 3 and then the bottom's in a size 4. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I love it. There's um, a little bow detailing in the front. It's like so cute, you guys. I love it so much. Look at that. And then I got my bottoms. They're red. I got them together because, you know, I wanted to be spicy. I didn't want it to have the same color for each one. So I got my bottoms in a size 4, and they are red. And you guys, so... The next two, they're going to just be bathing suit tops and I got them because I know they would look good with red bottoms because these bottoms are from Torrid and they were probably about $30 just for the bottom. So yeah, Torrid bathing suits are expensive but they're, they're very worth it because they're going to last you. The first two bathing suits I showed you guys, I've had them for over two years and then this fat kini I've had for about three years almost, yeah. So yeah, so I got, these are my only bathing suit bottoms that I own besides, you know, the one pieces. And so the next two um, tops are actually from Rev Dolls, I'm going to show you. But I got them because I knew they would look good with my red bottoms. Alright y'all, so these were on sale at Rev Dolls. I went to Rev Dolls to buy the last bathing suit I'm going to show you guys specifically. But when I went to their site, they also had sales on the rest. So I got this one. It's just blue and white. It's really a bikini top, but you know, I'ma still wear it. I'ma still rock it, make it work. It looks good. It holds my boobs up pretty well, even though there's no type of padding, anything like that. You just tie it to your liking and you know, hope that everything goes right. But yeah, it's just blue and white and it's a bikini top. And then this top, um, it's like, it's a tan color and you can only adjust it at the neck. You can't adjust it around like the other one you can. 
and it's tan and when I first tried it on it wasn't really working for me but you know you have to manipulate it and you know style it up how you want to but it's really cute and it was only nine dollars both of them are only nine dollars so I'm just gonna make it work and I really I got them because you know I'm going to Miami so I have to get those bathing suits and then you guys this is my last bathing suit this is the reason why I went to Rev Dolls I wanted this bathing suit so bad but y'all it is like this brown color it's so cute it ties in the back and in the front and for some reason it actually holds my boobs up really nice and it makes them look really good so I'm really glad about this new bathing suit because I really needed a new one and I got them the tops and the bottom both in a size 4 and then I got the bottoms they're right here and they have this like tying detail on the side they're so cute but you have to tie it all the way at the bottom because it can come undone so yeah be weary of that but yeah it's really cute you guys and I'm so excited for all these bathing suits that I got and I'm just ready to be in Miami also I'm going to show you guys all the cover-ups I have as well so this first cover-up I actually got when I the first time I ever went to Cozumel Mexico and it's pretty big it has dolphins on it it's super cute and you really just tie it around your waist yeah you just tie it around your waist and yeah that's a small a little cover-up and then I have one of these cover-ups it's it looks like it could be thick but I promise you it's not it's really thin and you just wear it over your bathing suit it's so cute and it's just basically like a shawl or a cardigan but it's super thin and I also have this. I never really wore it, but you know, I bought it. It's from Forever 21, and you can use it as a cover up. I just never really bought a bathing suit that just looks really good with it, so I never really wear it, but it is one of my cover ups. And then, you guys, uh, this is new, but I got a mesh top from Rev Dolls, so I'm definitely going to. I was thinking about wearing my the tan top, this, and some shorts one day when i'm going to the beach or something anything in miami so yeah but i'm excited for this because i love i love so you guys for me personally i always try to get my bikini my bathing suit bottoms in high waisted because i my stomach is pretty big so i don't like my stomach to just be all out like of course we're wearing a bathing suit but you know i have to keep it with the high waistedness and then when you are buying bathing suits online you need to pay attention to the sizing so if you already have a bathing suit and you like how it fits whatever store you got that from take that bathing suit size chart make sure it's the bathing suit size chart and not just a regular size chart so take that bathing suit size chart and compare okay just remember that you're going to be in the water even if you're just wearing it you know just to wear it and you're not really going to swim but you are going to be in the water so you don't want anything to be too tight or too loose you really want everything to fit just right because you never know what that water is going to do especially if you're in the ocean like me i like to swim in the ocean i'm not afraid of it so i have to when i'm buying my bathing suits normally if i'm in the if i'm going in the ocean like if i go snorkeling or anything like that i'll just go ahead and wear one piece just i'd rather be safe than sorry so that's something you really need to remember when you are buying a bathing suit and also places like Torrid are going to be expensive but they are going to be worth your money you guys like people don't have like maybe the skinny girls they have a lot of bathing suits just because they can easily find them they're easily attainable for them so they have a lot of bathing suits but for most big girls we really don't have that many bathing suits so when you are buying them you're gonna spend that quality that money for that quality so yeah Torrid is probably the best place to get your first fat bikini, first bathing suit, two-piece, all of that type of stuff. I would definitely recommend Torrid, but Rev Dolls honestly surprised me with this bathing suit, so I might be buying from them again. And there's all, there's a lot of other places, there's a lot of other YouTube channels that have videos for plus size bathing suits, so you guys definitely should check them out. But these are just the bathing suits that I have and that would fit my body and I like for my body. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.